Welcome back to Just Scribble for an unboxing from Goulet Pens. So I'm going to take off the packaging that they have everything wrapped in and we're going to check out my super awesome order. So as with every Goulet order, you do get a Tootsie Pop. So this is my Tootsie Pop. You get a little card that thanks you for your order and for supporting a family owned business. You get a card that talks about the care that they take in packaging your order and then you get your order. The fountain pen was the reason for my order and then I got this ink to use in this fountain pen. I added these two samples because I thought I had ordered these samples before and I couldn't find them in my samples so I must have thought I ordered them so I ordered those and then I ordered three stickers. So we'll check out the stickers first. I just think their stickers are so cute. So I thought I would add them to my order. It's been a while since I placed a Goulet order. And then I got the chubby hamster. This one was actually my freebie sticker and this was my order sticker. So I have a big and a little of the little chubby hamster. So those are my stickers. This was the reason for my order. So we're gonna check this out first. Then we'll swatch the inks and then we will fill this up. So this is my newest sailor pen and I am so excited for this pen. I was actually going to buy a Pelican fountain pen. The Pelican that I really wanted was a limited edition a few years ago and I wasn't sure that I wanted to pay the upcharge that I would have to pay to buy one like off eBay or someplace like that. And then I found a different Pelican fountain pen that I also really liked and I thought about getting that one. I don't own a Pelican fountain pen yet and I kind of feel like every person that has a fountain pen addiction and collection should have a Pelican fountain pen, but I want it to be the one. And so I was waffling on what to buy. And then I thought, you know what, instead of buying a Pelican, which I don't have, I'm actually gonna buy another Sailor pen because that is my favorite fountain pen brand. And then I remembered seeing on Instagram that they had launched an Every Rose Has Its Thorn Pro Gear, the full size Pro Gear. And I remember really, really loving it. At the time, I wasn't ready to buy, but now I was ready to buy. So I went on and I bought it. It comes in this beautiful box with these rose gold accents, because this pen does have rose gold accents. When you take the little cardboard piece off, it is your normal sailor fountain pen box. And then when you open it up, there is your pen. So I'm going to take off the plastic. I did get this pen in a medium fine. I kind of went back and forth on what nib size to get. I do have some unique nibs in some of my Sailor pens, like the Zoom nib. And I knew I didn't want a unique nib. I wanted just a standard nib. But I also know that my size likes for pens, they change over time. Sometimes I like a little bit of a broader pen, sometimes I like a finer pen. So I wanted to find a nib size that would be kind of that happy place where no matter what I was kind of craving, it would still fit in so that I would want to use it all the time. So I did go with a medium fine, which is a new to me size in my sailors. This is my gorgeous pen. It is sort of a lilac -y blue color and then it does have sparkles. I'm not sure if that's picking up there. I think you can see them. And it has rose gold accents. There's the sailor finial, sailor around the edges. There's my gorgeous sailor nib. Then you unscrew here. And this is where your cartridge or your converter would go. For comparison purposes, this is my Purple Cosmos Sailor Pro Gear Slim, which is smaller than the Pro Gear. And this was my first Sailor fountain pen. This is a Zoom nib. And I absolutely love it. It is awesome. And it has lots of beautiful sparkle on it but I thought I would show you guys the size difference so you could see the difference between the Pro Gear and the Pro Gear Slim next to each other and then if you uncap them you can see that size difference there too on also the nib size difference. So I pulled this out just to kind of show you guys 
I do obviously have a thing for purple. It is my favorite color because most of my sailor pens are purple or white, but I do have a red mini, which I love. And in the bottom of the box, we have some goodies. We have our instruction guide and warranty. We have this little card because this is a North America exclusive. It has the North America limited warranty and the little seal at the bottom. And it came with two cartridges there and our converter with directions for use. And we are actually gonna use the converter. So we're gonna open that up. I'm gonna take that out, put the instructions back, put that back in the box, close that up. And I'm gonna set my pen aside for a minute because we're gonna check out inks. So all the inks that I bought in this order, the full bottle and then also the samples are Sailor inks. I bought a sample of Sailor, Manyo, Neko, and Yagi. I know I'm pronouncing that incorrectly. And Sailor Monyo Haha. And then Sailor Kiwaguru ink. This is a black ink, and I do have favorite black inks that I use. There is a Herbin black ink and then Platinum Carbon Black. Those are my two favorite black inks. But I wanted a new black ink, and this one had some excellent reviews. So I decided to buy a full bottle of it, and this is actually what we're gonna ink my pen with. I actually think that the inks that I bought in the samples, the haha -ha in particular, would look really pretty in this. What am I doing? We don't wanna put it back, we wanna keep it out. I think they'd look really pretty in this pen, but I want this pen to use as my sort of everyday writer in my planners, and I do use predominantly black ink in my planners, so I wanted to fill it up with a black ink. So I decided to go with this beautiful sailor ink. So before we fill up my pen, we are gonna do some swatching. So I have my trusty little fountain pen shirt there. It's my kiddo's shirt from when he was a toddler and I use it for swatching. We are using a Tomoe River Paper 52 GSM pad in A5 size. I use this a lot for swatching. I have a little cup of water to rinse my pen and we are going to use my automatic pen for swatching. This is my favorite thing to swatch. People ask me a lot about this pen. I bought my automatic pens actually on a trip. I have a couple of them. I have this one that's black and I have this one. I think I have a third one, but I bought them on a trip at a small art store when I was traveling several several years ago and i absolutely love them they are my favorite thing to use for swatching but they are not a thing that's easily found in the united states it's a lot easier to find automatic pens in the uk but there is a store here in the us that has an online shop it's paper and ink arts and they do sell automatic pens i think they are out of this size right now but i will put a link to their shop and i'll put a link to their automatic pens down below so you guys can check them out. Be the best source for a US person to find an automatic pen. Another option, if you can't find them or you don't want to buy from them or they're out of stock, what have you, is to buy a set of Mitchell Witch pens, W-I-T-C-H, like the Halloween Witch. That's gonna be the most comparable thing to this that you could find and they sell those a lot of art stores online so you could buy a set of those as well. So we are going to start with the Sailor Ha Ha. And I am going to, I'm gonna write these out real quick, just so we know which one is which. So these two inks, my two samples, they are dual shading or duo shading inks. And so they will change color, which is awesome. And then this one is black. And this black ink is a pigmented black ink. And it is a 50 milliliter bottle. So we're going to start with Ha Ha. And I'm gonna lay these down. I'm probably not gonna time lapse this. I'm just gonna let it sit and dry. And skip through that part of the drying process because I do lay down quite a bit of ink with this pen. And I want to keep this video at a reasonable 
length, but we will lay down some ink and then I will show you what it looks like dry and then we'll fill my pen and we will do a little writing sample with it. So wet, just so you can see, that is what haha -ha looks like. And because I'm terrible at pronouncing this, we're gonna call this a noggy. <laughs> and I'll show you what it looks like wet also. I actually think both these are so pretty. I haven't committed to full bottles yet because I'm not sure if I want full bottles of them, but it's very possible that I'm gonna end up with full bottles. And there's a new line of these coming out, so I may have to order samples of some of the other ones that are coming as well. Oh. And there is the Anagi Wet. And here is the Kiwa Guru. I am going to grab one of my dip pens real quick and we will do a little scribble so you can kind of see how they write as well. One second. So I just grabbed a glass dip pen. I have several of these. This one is actually just from Amazon. It's not the best one that I have, but I think it's so pretty because it has sparkles inside. You can already see those inks changing. So pretty. So we're just gonna do a little writing so you can see how they look with a real fine nib. I super apologize if you hear noise from the other room. My husband was working out in the yard and came in and proceeded to crash on the couch. And I swear his snoring picks up on my camera easier than my voice does. But my studio remodel stuff part of it is getting some soundproofing curtains and that's gonna help alleviate some of that so it won't be as much of an issue this summer once we're all finished. Getting close. It's getting ready to be the point that we're gonna just be we. I, by we, I mean me. That we're just gonna be organizing all of this stuff. That'll probably take longer than anything else. But we are getting close. Very excited. So there you can see the writing samples. And we're gonna let this dry for a minute and then we will come back, fill up my pen and do a little sample with that. And then I will let you guys go. Okay, so there's a little bit of wetness left on the black ink, but other than that, everything is dry. So I thought we would check it out and you could see what they look like. Even though these are lighter inks, you can see even with that fine glass nib, they're easily readable nice and vibrant and then there is the beautiful black ink so what we're going to do is we're going to fill up my every rose has its thorn pro gear and do a quick little writing sample with it scoot that aside so here we have the converter so we will twist it counterclockwise to push that piston all the way down here so that it's ready to go into the ink. We'll open it up and we're going to stick that down in there. You can use a snorkel or something like that, but I am not doing that right now, but I will share them in a video in the future if you guys want. I do have them. So we've turned it clockwise to suck the ink up into the converter. Then I'm gonna wipe off the residual around the edges, take my pen apart, I'm gonna stick that up there and seat it in there, put the body back on the pen, 
and then I'm going to put the cap on so I can hold it for a second and let that ink travel down the feed. Don't ever shake your pen to try to get your pen started and get the ink to go down because you will get a big old mess in your cap and when you write it'll blurp and spurt and all the things. It's so pretty. I am so excited for this pen. Was itching actually to buy a white fountain pen. And I do have actually quite a few white fountain pens. I can see three sitting on my desk right in front of me. But I was kind of itching for a white fountain pen. And I might end up getting another white sailor pen. But I was in love with this pen. I just think it is so feminine and so pretty. I love anything with rose gold. And I love the sparkles in it. I'm really excited. So I'm going to turn the paper this way. We're going to, it's writing beautifully right from the start. Oops, I shouldn't have done an apostrophe. Not even thinking. I am in love. I have never met a sailor pen that I didn't love, but I'm really glad that I decided to go with the medium fine in this nib. I think it is absolutely perfect for an everyday writer. It's thin enough, but not too thin. So, so pretty. Oh, so excited. That is my unboxing from Goulet Pens. I got my Every Rose Has Its Thorn pro gear from sailor i got my sailor black ink and my two ink samples as well as my stickers and my tootsie pop if you have any questions about anything i shared in this video please don't hesitate to comment below and i will definitely get back with you make sure you give me a thumbs up if you liked this unboxing from goulet pens make sure you're subscribed so you don't miss future videos and don't forget to just scribble